Hello, Anteater fans. Michael O'Sullivan standing alongside Chris Volk, head coach of the UC Irvine men's soccer team. As we turn the calendar to 2016 now, Chris, and you're going into your third year now at the helm, uh, and it'll get going for you guys August 26th through 28th, a very important weekend to kick off the season. You make a trip to the Midwest. You go to South Bend, Indiana. You'll take on Notre Dame and Indiana, two powerhouses in, in the national scene in men's soccer and both teams that have won national championships. Yeah, well we want to continue to, to have a very competitive non-conference schedule. Uh, it's important for our RPI. You need to have results against those programs. Uh, but like I said, both programs have won national championships and it'll be a first for, for the history of this program to actually play against Notre Dame. So our guys are really excited and uh, you know, I'm looking forward to them being coming in prepared and, and have a good preseason so we're ready for that first road test. Yeah, Notre Dame winning a title in 2013. Then you guys will come home for a couple of games in early September, Florida Gulf Coast at Santa Clara. Santa Clara, one of several tournament teams you have on this non-conference schedule. So you just mentioned, you know, building up that RPI, and that's what you got to do, right, is, is beat quality teams from a year ago. Yeah, we have six opponents on our uh, schedule this year between non-conference and conference that were in the NCAA tournament. And, you know, we want to be able to show well against those teams and get good results. And, um, you know, Santa Clara is another road test. Uh, whether you're on the road or at home, you, 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 you've got to get results. Results. So um, that'll be, you know, that'll be another good non-conference game for us. Yeah, and you have Loyola Marymount, New Mexico here at home. Those are two good matches here at Anteater Stadium. And I know, you know, we were talking about you had the 19th toughest schedule last year. And it was the mindset just building off that same theme this time around? You know, uh, for the last few years uh, in our schedule, we, we've scheduled very, very well, non-conference yeah. schedules. And, um, you know, in 2014, our RPI was strong enough to get us in at large. Right. And I think it's important to continue to do that. Like I said, last year we didn't get the results that we wanted, eight overtime games. Uh, right. We were competitive through 90 minutes. We just couldn't find the result we wanted. And uh, I think our players know how important it is to get results this year. And, you know, we've got another good test ahead of us. So, Yeah. Yeah, and actually a pretty challenging trip to the Pacific Northwest with at Oregon State and at Portland right before Big West play. Getting into the conference, three tournament teams from a year ago, Fullerton, regular season title, won the conference tournament as well and joined by Santa Barbara and Cal Poly, that teams that did make it to the NCAA tournament. So I know those are teams to watch out for, but this is such a competitive conference top to bottom, isn't it? Yeah, the Big West is still regarded as one of the top five conferences in the country. And so you know, our players and know that every Big West game is going to be tough, whether it's home or away. And, you know, we're going to go out and battle and try and earn three points to, to keep ourselves in the table and, you know, be in consideration for the conference tournament at the end. So because we know there's two different paths to get there. You can win it automatic by winning the conference tournament, or you do well enough with your non-conference and your overall record, you know, maybe get an at-large. So. Right. And, you know, you'll start that Big West conference tournament, hopefully, in early November on the 5th. Talking about your team, some good experience coming back, but I know last year you, you had to plug in a lot of freshmen, you know, talented guys, and, and so I know you're excited to have those guys back and also some, some good incomers as well. Yeah, um, you know, we graduated a, a lot of experienced seniors last year that, you know, were part of some guys were part of three NCAA tournaments over right. their, their tenure. Uh, we have some returners that have been part of two NCAA tournaments, trips to the Sweet 16. So they bring a lot of experience. You know, five fifth-year seniors. We've got right. Elliot Farmer coming back in goal, and you know our back line will consist of Noah Gaines, Matt Tilly, Thomas Janjigian, and then our defensive midfielder in front of that group is is Michael Sperber. So, right. you know, I'm going to rely on those guys for a lot of leadership, and you know our other returning players have grown, you know, through this last year, and our incoming class will be 10 players, and, and that has a nice blend of freshmen and transfers that'll give us experience and depth in every position. Now you talk about the guys you lost a year ago. Michael Breslin will now be out at net, so you have to replace him. Big shoes to fill there, but I know the five seniors, that'll be leadership you're really counting on. It'll get going in late August, that trip to Notre Dame for a big tournament. Going into your third year, Coach, thanks so much. Good luck this season. All right, thanks, Michael. See you next time, Anteater fans.